Hi, I'm George Spicer, and I have a word of encouragement for you. There was this young lady who went off to college, and she loved everything about college. She was so happy to get out from underneath her parents' control. There was just one problem. She wasn't so good at going to class, completing assignments, writing papers. On top of that, she didn't manage her money very well, and she was almost at the end of the semester and out of money. So she decided to write her parents a letter. And it started like this. Dear Mom and Dad, just thought I'd drop you a note to clue you in on my plans. I've fallen in love with a guy named Jim. He quit high school after 11th grade to get married. He divorced about a year ago. We've been going steady for two months and plan to get married in the fall. Until then, I've decided to move into his apartment. I think I might be pregnant. At any rate, I dropped out of school last week, although I'd like to finish college sometime in the future. And then the young lady flipped the paper over and she continued to write. Mom and Dad, I just want you to know that everything that I have written so far is false. None of it is true. But Mom and Dad, it is true that I got a C in French and I flunked math. And it is true that I'm going to need more money to take care of some expenses. Can you help your ever-loving daughter? What would you think if you received a letter like that? Would your mind be racing a thousand miles an hour? Who's Jim? Dropped out of college? Pregnant? Getting married? Wouldn't you have felt good that when you flipped over to the back page, you kept on reading? That's how I feel when I read Romans 6.23. It begins, the wages of sin is death. And that's what we get for our sin. Death. It began that way in the garden with Adam and Eve, and it hasn't changed at all. It's a simple mathematic formula. Sin equals death. But in spite of our disobedience, God deals with us in grace. A grace that we can't earn, God's favor, impossible for us to obtain. But God reaches out to us in grace. We don't deserve it, but he comes to us in his kindness and love. And he gives us the promise of the forgiveness of sins and the hope of eternal life. It really is a gift. Imagine God handing it to you and saying, it's yours. By faith, make it your own. So treasure God's word and treasure its truth. You know, God's law shows us what God's will is for our lives. But we don't keep that law, and the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. God, and the gospel, I should say, points us to Jesus, to his forgiveness and his love. So keep on reading your Bible. Put it into practice every day. Because when it comes to Jesus, the news is always good. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll be back on Friday at 8 o'clock. Until then, happy Easter Monday to you.